Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. EAA supports Letter of Deviation Authority Reform, Phoenix to host FSANA Designated Pilot Examiner Symposium, Embry-Riddle IATA Partner for New Graduate Degree Program. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. EAA supports Letter of Deviation Authority Reform. EAA announced its support for possible reform and expansion of the FAA's Letter of Deviation Authority. The changes desired by the EAA would allow more instructors to provide transition training in experimental aircraft while being compensated for use of the aircraft. Their latest efforts focus on traditional LODAs used for compensated flight training, in line with the original intent of the system. It has gained some popularity over the last decade, allowing instructors across the country to offer flight training in various types of experimental aircraft. The EAA's preferred expansion to the program would make transition training more viable by bolstering a lesser-known portion of the LODA program that allows primary training for ultralights and light sport aircraft. The LODA system was a sort of legislative sidestep that allowed the FAA to provide, quote, quick relief to those operators affected by the district court ruling in Warbird Adventures versus FAA, end quote. That case, quote, disrupted the ability of experimental, limited, and primary category aircraft operators to hire instructors to train in the operator's own aircraft, end quote. The association has stressed that while they are pursuing legislative solutions to the issue, the FAA has assured them that it is hard at work on a fast rulemaking fix, which, while fast-tracked, is still limited to the speed of bureaucracy. And after the break, Lufthansa and Vereinigen Cockpit Pilot Union reach labor agreement. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Lufthansa and Vereinigen Cockpit Pilot Union reach labor agreement. Lufthansa has reached an agreement with pilot union leaders, thereby averting a pilot strike. The agreement follows an antecedent work stoppage that forced the cancellation of hundreds of Lufthansa flights last week. Vereinigen Cockpit, the union that represents Lufthansa's pilots, has agreed to the fundamental monetary and quality of life provisions of a new pilot compensation package the details of which are to be fleshed out in the coming days. The union had demanded pilots receive a company-wide retroactive pay rise of 5.5% from July 1st, as well as an 8.2% pay increase in 2023. ERAU students use drones to map ancient cities. Two professors and 14 ERAU students, graduates, and undergraduates of the UAS program took a service learning trip with drone in tow to New Mexico and Arizona this summer to work with archaeologists in mapping ancient cities. Their mission was to collect virtual data on a variety of locations using thermal infrared, LIDAR, multispectral, and visible light systems of their drones. They were also eligible to earn up to nine credit hours for the project, working as part of a Study America program through Embry-Riddle's Office of Global Engagement. State and federal agencies refreshed working relationship. The National Association of State Aviation Officials has embarked on a mission to strengthen ties between their collective state-level entities and broader federal agencies. The NASAO board chair Anthony McCloskey met with acting FAA Administrator Billy Nolan to sign four separate MOUs detailing and updating the parameters of their continued partnership. 
NASEO and FAA leadership have agreed to begin work on fulfilling commitments immediately, with another meeting on the books for this month's upcoming NASEO annual convention. FAA awards grants to expand STEM outreach. The FAA has awarded $231,000 in grants to support science, technology, engineering, and math outreach. FAA Deputy Administrator Bradley Mim states, quote, If kids can dream it, they can do it. It's up to us to light the path for them, end quote. Three of the FAA grants are earmarked for university STEM outreach programs, whereby students typically underrepresented in STEM and aviation fields may be urged beyond alternate aspirations for purpose of contemporaneously filling future high-tech jobs and current progressive quotas. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Phoenix to host EFSANA Designated Pilot Examiner Symposium. EFSANA will host the second annual Designated Pilot Examiner Symposium on October 11th and 12th in Phoenix, Arizona. Pilot examiners, as anyone who's ever sweated out a checkride knows, play a critical role in the pilot supply chain and personify the final and most harrowing instance of every meaningful stage of an airman's career path. The symposium seeks to bring together designated pilot examiners along with those interested in becoming DPEs, flight schools, government officials, and other aerospace stakeholders to exchange information conducive to improving the practical testing of airmen. Notwithstanding the unavoidable participation of FAA officials, the symposium stands to greatly benefit the whole of the aerospace community. The event is scheduled to get underway Tuesday, October 11th at 10 o'clock MDT, splitting between a warm-up session for those wanting to become DPEs and a plans of action workshop for the balance of attendees. The symposium is expressly intended for current DPEs, parties interested in becoming a DPE, flight school operators, and chief flight instructors. And after these messages, Embry-Riddle and IATA partner for new graduate degree program. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Embry-Riddle and IATA partner for new graduate degree program. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University has joined hands with the International Air Transport Association to begin offering a new kind of master's degree in airline management. The new program will fall under the existing MBA in aviation program through its College of Business. The core program will leverage resources from the ERAU worldwide campus. Overall, the program will see the addition of a new certificate in airline management, as well as major specific courses in revenue management, business models, cost controls, and ancillary revenue. Once complete, graduates will have much of the professional toolkit required to take on a career in airline management, whether assisting in an operational, executive, or financial capacity. Courses will be held virtually with weekly Q&A sessions with professors and instructors. The school says the move was natural following the complicated, problem-fraught period following the 2020 pandemic. IETA, while not exactly a household name in the U.S., is a juggernaut in air travel abroad, representing nearly 300 airlines in total that account for more than 80% of the world's air traffic. Their belief is that the industry has a great need for management that can help chart a company's course. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.